until you know how to stand still. When he says to you, I walked for six days and on the seventh day, he stood still. He rested. That rest, are you sure is the kind of rest you are thinking in your mind? Are you sure? Because when we say rest in the finite mind of a human being, you are thinking of how you will have five cars, ten houses, flying to America, New York, go to Canada, come back, go to Zambezi, collect the gold there, and come back and puff up and tell your people we have arrived. That is not the rest of God. When God says to you, rest, he's saying to you, walk with me and see me do the things that you have struggled to do. It is a holy day. Helen, it is a holy season for you. Daughters of Shiloh, it's a holy season for you. Holiness in the seventh day, in the seventh year, in the seventieth year. Holiness in the fullness of time. Holiness. It's not what you think. It's not because you did not fornicate. It's not because you did not lie. Holiness is wholeness with God. One with God. Wholeness, one with God. When you become one with God, when your own ways are not your ways anymore, when you can pray like Jesus, when he says, uh, take this cup away from me, but if you just do not want to take it up, it's all right. Let's go with that which is your will. Not my will, oh God, but your will be done. God does not need a million people. He needs one. And that is where it becomes terrible when he sees his own people going to hell. It is not the desire of God that any man should perish. It is time for your light to so shine that even the people that are not sitting here under the sound of your voice, that because your voice is going forth, the wind is carrying it because the Holy Ghost is not restricted. Jesus was restricted because he was in the flesh and he had to die to release his spirit and he has poured out his spirit because his spirit is upon all flesh. As you speak from your altar, this altar that your husband is building with you, as you speak from this altar, even in their bedrooms they are sitting, they will hear a voice. The voice will awaken them, quicken their mortal bodies, quicken their minds to hearken to the Lord. They will see visions of God. Ezekiel stood in the midst of slavery by the river Chaba with his people. Your authority.